Off. We start back east where dozens of people are dead. Others stranded after Hurricane Helene leaves a massive path of destruction in Florida and across the south. Now, rescuers are still underway tonight. The damage is estimated to be between 15 and 26 billion dollars. Chris Wolf in our news center. He's got to look at the damage and the situation there at this hour. Chris. Yeah, Rick and Court. The death toll is expected to rise, but at last word, Helene had killed at least 45 people, including three firefighters, a woman and her newborn twins, and an 89-year-old woman whose home was struck by a falling tree. Tonight, public safety personnel are warning residents in eastern Tennessee to get to higher ground immediately to avoid flash flooding downstream from a dam, which is expected to fail at any moment. It came, it conquered, it killed, it destroyed. Anybody in your house? Fire department! Fire department! Come on out, we got a boat! Hurricane Helene made landfall in Florida's Big Bend region along the Gulf Coast late Thursday night, packing winds of up to 140 miles an hour. It weakened, but continued barreling up through Georgia. The storm, which ranks among the most powerful to strike the United States, continued to pound the region with high winds, extensive rainfall, and what's described as catastrophic flash flooding. It's hard to take in. However bad we imagined it would be when we were fighting this thing in the darkness, it's so much worse in the daylight. At last word, nearly 5 million utility customers were without power in Florida, Georgia, North and South Carolina. Emergency crews have been working around the clock, plucking victims, people, pets from the murky floodwaters. Hold on, my on the back of my truck. One good Samaritan used his airboat to rescue neighbors trapped in high water and debris in the Tampa, Florida area. Crazy looking, man. Like I said, we've never seen anything like this, never experienced in anything like this. It got up to at least three foot in my house. I never thought I'd have water in my house. Communities ripped to shreds, towns underwater. Relief and recovery will not come quickly for those in the hardest hit areas. As officials warn, the threats associated with Helene remain. The end of the rain is not the end of the threat. We can't stop the, wa the waves, can't stop the rising water, can't stop the rivers, and certainly can't stop the trees from being uprooted. Helene dumped up to two feet of rain in portions of North Carolina and South Carolina and set a record for the worst flood in North Carolina's recorded history, according to officials. California is sending 151 firefighters and support personnel, including members of the Los Angeles Fire Department. Live in the News Center, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right, Wolfie, thanks for that.